Assalamu alaikum this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes and in today's lecture you will learn how to design a parity generator or the parity detector circuitry parity generator or parity detector all right so parity concept is used for detecting the errors in the communication systems or in the digital systems the parity bit is used for helping or determining either there is certain type of the error is present or not in the transmitted message and uh, on the reception side you can again apply the parity concept for detecting either there is some error or not all right there are two types of the parity that you can introduce while transmitting the message and encoding it with the parity detection so there is an even parity and odd parity in the even parity you actually make the number of ones in the transmitted message including the parity bit equal to some even number all right and in the odd parity you actually make the number of ones in the transmitted message equal to equal number of odd number of ones fine so let's say this is the message that is consisting of three bits x y and z and you know that the three bit combination could be like that so i will just make the all the possible combinations of a 3 bit numbers and then i will use the concept of the even parity or uh, for transmitting this message okay so this is actually the parity bit that will get the value according to the number of ones present in the transmitting message let's say i want to use the concept of the even parity over here since there is no one present in the first combination or in the first message call it m1 all right so there are zero numbers of ones that's why in order to make it an even parity i will make this parity bit equal to zero now if you look at the second message which is having the bits equal to 0 0 and 1 now since only odd number of ones are present in this message in order to make it an even parity i will make the parity bit equal to 1 so now you can count the message that i want to transmit actually having even number of ones in it similarly you can determine the values of the parity function as even parity all right again i will place one over here since only single one is present in this message similarly i will place zero over here as we have already even number of ones in the messages that i want to transmit again one over here zero zero and finally one so in this way the parity generator circuit actually act for the even parity concept all right now if you look at the parity function you can clearly see this function value or the parity value is equal to 1 when there are odd number of ones in the original message so if you look at this combination then this combination similarly this one and the last one we can clearly see the function value is equal to 1 when there are odd number of ones in the transmitted message and the function value is equal to 0 when there are even number of ones in the transmitting messages okay and 
according to the xor gate property you know that this is the only function which produces the output equal to 1 when there are odd number of ones in it and XOR gate produces output is equal to 0 when you have even number of ones. So clearly you can design or represent the parity function as the XOR of X, Y and Z. And if you want to draw this parity function all you need to do is to first XOR the two variables x and y which will res result in x XOR y and finally then take the XOR of it with the third variable or the third input z all right sorry here i had to write z and here you will get the parity function p so basically p is equal to x XOR, y XOR and z. This is the even parity detector circuitly, circuitry. For the quickest review, you can say that if I want to design an odd parity generator, all you need to do is to set the parity bit value equal to 1 when you want to have an odd number of ones at the output side okay so in order to have the odd parity i'll place p bar let's denote this p bar as the odd parity generator output okay so i will set one over here since there are even number of ones or zero number of ones in this expression that's why i put one over here so that as a combination i can get odd number of ones in the message similarly if you look at this expression it is already having an odd number of ones at the input side that's why its parity bit will be equal to zero or in other words odd parity is actually the complement of the even parity fine so using this concept i can quickly fill this table and then since the odd parity is the complement of the even parity and Concluding directly from here the even parity function or parity function can be derived from the even parity function as its complement or simply by the x nor gate. Now let's say I want to design an even parity detector circuitry at the reception or the receiving side and at the receiving side you will be getting the original message which was consisting of three variables x, y and z including the parity bit now just to indicate or to test either there is certain type of the error is introduced in the transmitted transmitted message or not since we will having will be having four input variables uh, so we will use the four bit combination pattern for getting the error function e so you can notice over here i have quickly written the four bit possible combinations of the bits and now i will determine the value of the error function all right since i am talking about the even parity detector circuitry so this circuit should generate the value of the error function equal to when when you are getting odd number of ones at the input side okay so this is the message that you are actually getting or receiving at the receiving side you can see there are even number of ones in it that's why error function value should be equal to zero and again you can see over here you are receiving odd number of ones over here while you have transmitted the message with the even parity it means one of the bit is actually 
करप्ट इट दैट्स वाई यू विल गेट दी वैल्यू इक्वल टू वन और द एरर फंक्शन विल इंडिकेट आउटपुट इज इक्वल टू वन अगेन ऑड नंबर ऑफ वन दैट्स वाई वन ओवर हेयर एंड जीरो सिंस यू आर गेटिंग दी इवन पैरिटी दैट इज ओके दैट्स वाई देर इज नो एरर फंक्शन सिमिलरली वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन वन एंड जीरो अगेन इन दिस वे यू विल फिल द कॉलम ओ फॉर द एरर फंक्शन नाउ अगेन लुकिंग एट द बिहेवियर ऑफ द बिहेवियर ऑफ द आउटपुट फंक्शन और द एरर फंक्शन यू कैन सी यू आर गेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन इक्वल टू वन when there are basically odd number of ones at the input side or at the reception side and again this error function is giving us output is equal to 0 when however we are having the even number of ones you can check any combination basically which is again the property of the xor gate so at the receiving side you are actually getting the error function which can again be implemented using the xor of x and y and z with p parity bit okay and let's just draw the logical diagram of this xor function so you will take the xor of x and y first of all then you will take the xor of z and p and finally you will xor these two expressions and ultimately you will be getting the error function one thing to be noticed is that since the even parity generator circuitry has the similar circuitry for determining the parity or the parity generator or for the even parity generator so uh, one advantage is that you can actually ground this pin p ground it and then you can see the remaining circuit will take the xor of x y and z for generating the parity bit p so basically you can use this same function for the error generation and the detection or the parity generator or the parity detector while grounding the parity bit okay now this circuit is actually for the even parity detector circuitry again if we are interested in determining the odd parity detector circuitry all you need to do is to just take the complement of this function and then implement it and you know that the complement of the xor gate is actually the xnor gate so odd parity detector circuit merely can be implemented by using the or by taking the complement of x xor y xor z xor p complement since it will be performing the reverse task of the even parity detector circuitry if you have any questions you can drop into the comment section thank you so uh, much for watching